Hidden in here, I found the secret of how a master artist can draw anything from imagination. I tried it myself and I'll show you exactly how to do it. But first, this is Kim Jong-ji drawing in public. There are dozens of hours of footage like this and hundreds more if you count the live streams from his studio. He has unlocked the one skill that every artist wants and it allows him to make crazy drawings like these ones on the spot. I got obsessed with his drawings, so I spent countless hours watching every video of him that I could find on YouTube. But I quickly realized that watching a master perform at the top of their game is not actually the best way to learn. What is much more effective instead is to know how he practices when nobody's looking. So I found a collection of his private sketches to see what I could learn. And I came across a secret that I would have never discovered by looking at his finished works or by watching him draw in real time only. It's incredibly simple, but nobody ever does it. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I discovered and why it works. And I'm also going to show you my attempts of putting this secret into practice. There's a lot to cover, so grab an espresso and let's go. Wait a second, Katsu do Fire Cafe. Oh, disaster! Mamma mia, I forgot to buy coffee. Wait, wait, wait. I should have an emergency coffee somewhere, somewhere in my phone. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's see if this works. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. I truly believe that what actually matters is what you're doing when nobody's watching. So a book like this one, that is made only of private sketches, can show you what practice really looks like for a master. Think of it as if it was a sport. It's the practice that makes the athlete, it's not the competition, right? And Kim Jong-ji practiced a lot, mainly it seemed like he had fun, drawing without planning, straight with ink, and often jumping from one subject to the next one on the same page. And there's a first learning already. Having fun is key to practicing art. If you're not enjoying it, then you're not gonna go far. So try to draw something that you like. Flipping through this book, I discovered that Kim <laughs> loved to draw nudity. Basically, the first half of the book is uh, full of drawings that are not safe to show you Wait. here and you. Maybe uh, not that. What was that? <laughs> when I study a master artist, I like to dedicate a full sketchbook to them. I love how his drawings play a lot with perspective. He often likes to turn his subjects in space. Sometimes he picks an axis and does a full 360 degrees, like with this crazy head here. And I tried to do it myself here and <laughs> mamma mia, it's really hard if I cannot see it with my own eyes. It's amazing how he can visualize it so vividly, as if he was there. And that's when I stumbled across the secret that you've been waiting for. It started with this drawing here. It seems to be just a sketch of what surrounds him. But then another, and another, and another. I marked dozens of them with this tape. Basically, Kim Jong-ji spends a lot of time practicing to draw in first-person point of view getting used to the perspective of how things look when you're there. And then he adds stuff from imagination, but he makes it fit within the existing perspective of where he is. It makes sense to me that if you practice a lot in this way, you'll be able to invent any scene and overlay it on what you see around you in a very vivid way. But these sort of things always sound easier than what they actually are. Let's try and find out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to draw. Oh, 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit nervous. But I've got my feet in different socks and my pencil sharp. So let's get started. The idea is to draw whatever is in front of you, which for me is my dinner table here. And then add characters to it. I'll add some animal people here, left and right of the dinner table. Mixing reality with imagination is something that I've never done before. But it makes so much sense because you can nail the fundamentals like perspective and shading while still having a lot of fun by adding crazy characters to your scene. And you can tell if you're practicing right when you don't want to stop. At this point, I'd be moving on to the next drawing, but I think that this one needs some color. Adding color is something I almost never do. But when I do add color, I have fun with crazy color schemes. But in this one, I feel like trying to stick to reality as much as possible. It's definitely challenging to try and imagine very vividly something that is not there. But it is a lot of fun. And after a while, you do get the hang of it. You get that strange sensation that even though you cannot see them, your characters are there in the room with you. <laughs> 